Hey guys, another video more slot reviews, and this is a test drive video. And this time it is on the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren 722 GT. Uh, very nice car at the moment. Um, so, one thing that I thought might um, alter the car, make it different to others, is two factors is direct drive mode, so like the Dodge Viper, and also the fact that these front wheels don't move together, they are separate. So I will, I could do a video on opening it up and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the Mercedes, a very nice car. They also did the clip car, number 10. Yeah. And if I just back up. So that is, they're my cars. So uh, I'll do a video on it at the end of the year because there should be a couple more coming in before the end of the year and then I'll um, buy them and then do reviews on them. Let's just have a look at how the car handles in a normal race pace. This car hasn't had sanded tyres yet so that will affect the grip somewhat but as a whole the car handles quite well. With its direct drive motor it handles very well and it's able to get the power down faster. The direct drive motor is like the Dodge Viper and also most LMP cars. The LMP cars are very quick cars and this Mercedes also benefits with that direct drive. Let's have a look at the one engine 80 degree hairpin. These are made up of radius one corners. As you can see, the Mercedes can go round the corners quite quickly, but if you put too much power on the inside, you will kick out the back end. That is known as fishtailing. As a whole, the car handles very well, and it can take the corners at a moderate speed without having to slow down too much. It also carries the speed through because of the direct drive motor. This will have an advantage over the sidewinder driven cars. We've seen a couple of crashes so far, but let's see what happens when you really, really push the Mercedes to the limits.